William Ruto has defended his government's move to remove subsidies on products. Ruto, who spoke during a PG meeting of the Kenya Kwanza legislators, said his government will focus on investing in where there is value. It is about to get tough before it gets better for Kenyans as President William Ruto today ruled out maize flour subsidy. Ruto, who was speaking during a PG meeting in Naivasha for the Kenya Kwanzaa legislators, said his government will focus on empowering farmers and spending money on production. I'm going to take you through our, our, our agriculture plan so that we also agree on the interventions that are necessary. We have agreed as a government that we are not going to be subsidizing consumption. That is why we are going slow on matters to do with subsidizing consumption. We are going to work and support producers. That way, even if we are intervening at that level, it gives us a bigger leverage. The president said there must be proper spending by the government to ensure that Kenyans get value for money. It is. It is not how much money you spend, it is where do you spend money so that you get value for every coin that you spend. Ruto, who was meeting the Kenya Kwanzaa MPC Naivasha, said he will involve the legislators often so that they speak the same language in the House, saying that they failed in the previous regime because they did not involve the members of parliament. I believe that the efficiency of any government is also dependent on how much we are kept on our toes. So uh, I want to tell our good friends on the other side of the political divide, welcome to your oversight role. We are ready to be accountable as a government because that will make the people of Kenya get value for every commitment we make, every uh, shilling we spend, and every uh, plan we roll out. Ruto said during the retreat, the team will take MPs through the Kenya Kwanzaa plans for all sectors so that they understand what needs to be done. Um, it is very important for us uh, to have a meeting so that, <clears throat> so that we can agree on the plan we have. This PG is for us to interrogate our party manifesto, the Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto, because that is the basis upon which we were elected. We made commitments to the people of Kenya. We have started to discharge some of those commitments. I had made a commitment that we will appoint the six judges. We have appointed the six judges. Touching on security, the president said the National Police Service was now getting its independence after Treasury designated the IG as the accounting officer. We made a commitment that we will provide financial independence for the police uh, I already issued instructions and yesterday that was implemented by Treasury. Now henceforth the police will have an independent budget. They will not be begging for money from other offices. We will allocate them the resources as is being done by Parliament and we will begin to make, uh, to make demands of them on matter security because in the past they used to give excuses of depending on finances from other uh, offices. Brian Amuai, Look Up TV.